we can't convert Kenya into a place of planting coffee. Who eats coffee? We cannot be planting all this coffee only to sell it instead of us planting food that we can eat. So we must actually make an allocation that we get full first. And when we are full, the surplus, that was goes for export. But you can't build a community based on exports only. Here's the foolishness. You plant your coffee. You take all of it. They go and make coffee. They make chocolates. After you sell the coffee, at a cheaper price, by the way, because it's not processed. You bring back the money. When the money comes back into the country, you take the same money to the same people to buy food. Then who is stupid here? Whose brain is not working? How do you mess up the ground to plant something that you can't eat, only to take the money of what you have planned, what you have sold, to buy the food that you must come back and eat? Then we we need to change the strategy altogether, and we cannot keep our land as a supplier of raw materials, and yet we will need the same money again to feed ourselves. So the, the balance between imports and export, and that's where the GDP sits. That's where currencies sit. How much have you exported? How much have you imported? At the end of the day, what we are ex exporting is equivalent to what we are importing in terms of basic necessities of food. So what do you end up having on the table? People have no money. Their currency is worth nothing. Why? Because they 